Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I was fortunate to get a PlayStation 5, so I thought, why not help answer a few questions that the community might have regarding how the console does perform. And today I'm answering a question from the PC versus the you know PS5 side, and just doing some comparisons just to see what you know the possibilities are. Now, I do have fired up here on my setup the Batman Arkham Knight um, game on the PlayStation 5. This is running on a PS5, in case you were wondering, and I'll also have it running on a PC um, using my controller as well. So here it is on a PC. Uh, you can see my frame rates on the bottom right corner. This is the menu screen. So it's showing 31 frames per second, about 30 frames per second on the NVIDIA um, frame rate display. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the combat modes and we're going to look at some of the settings and see where there might be some room to be able to get, you know, this game to pretty much um, shine. Now, one thing I do know is on the PS5, it seems like the output was actually um, quite decent, in my opinion. I can't put a finger on it as to why uh, it looked so good. Like when I'm switching back and forth from them, you can tell that one of them is on a PC. You can tell one of them is on a console. But there's some really interesting light work that was done here um, with Batman Arkham Knight. I, I, for those of you who don't know, Arkham Knight was developed on the, uh, the Unreal Engine 3, which is actually very impressive that, <laughs> that they were able to develop this game on such an old engine, but a game to look quite beautiful, um, you know, in... In, the, in its own right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fire up this Batman and Nightwing um, combat challenge. I'm going to also go ahead and fire it up on here as well for those of you who are, you know, really into the combat modes. And we're going to play around a little bit with them. And then I'm going to fire up my files and you guys are going to see some really cool rendering that you have by the time you finish one of the end game stuff. I've already kind of um, maxed this one out on PC. I uh, play the game a lot. <laughs> It's one of those things where, yeah, it's one of your favorite, it's one of your favorite, you know, uh, pastimes. You're going to go ahead and play it. I haven't really played it on my PlayStation. My PlayStation file is lacking, but, you know, Mr. I'm going to play it on multiple platforms, blah, blah, blah. And then basically, you know, you, you have to spread your time and you don't even know what progression you have where. I'm even fortunate to have beaten the story and all of the side missions uh, to 120%. Now I need to work on the remaining 120%. So this is on the PS5 and, you know, we're playing as Robin and Batman. And the goal is to do as much takedowns, I think, as possible. Um, I can't remember. I think you change with the right button and you switch characters. Um, so switch. Oh, I thought I was going to switch there. I forgot how to do the team takedown. Um, what is it? Oh, there it is. It's a left button. So you do a team takedown. Bam. And then you switch characters. Okay. I need to get to the maximum goal of, I think, 30,000 before the time runs out. That's really hard to do. I don't know how I did that. Um, oh, everybody wants a piece of Batman. I just, I guess, doing more takedowns. Oh, dang it. All right. Let's go ahead and start that again. That was really poor. Just the way I was fighting. And that's because, for some strange reason, I just had brain freeze over there. Okay. Simulation. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, the dual combat modes. Um, let's go. Let's go. Get you down. Bam. The I think the... Oh, and I'm playing on a little bit of a delay, too. So, forgive me. I'm playing on my other screen. I could go... To, let's do a team takedown. Bam. And then switch to Batman. What did I miss there? I knew I was supposed to do a counter. I don't know why my combos reset. And you don't want your combos to reset because you want your, you want to be able to build your meter for the takedowns as quickly as possible. I thought those guys were going to try to follow me, but then I lost the meter. Let's do a takedown. Woo! Look at that. Closed. Slam. Woo! Let's take this guy down. Boom. And I think the takedowns pretty much increase your clock. So that's that's how you continue to extend your time. And stay in the game. So this mode is actually very intuitive. I like it. It really puts you as a player, you know, very cautious about not only your surroundings, 
but your um you know but what's going on around you as well now take that bam now let's do a team takedown so we can extend our time boom boom Team take down. Let's go. Bam. They've started bringing knives into the fight, too. So it's not fair anymore. Let's take that. Take that shield from you, sir. Thank you. Give that shield to me. No, I messed my combo up. <laughs> he hit me. The last hit. Oh, that's just dirty. Let's do a team takedown. Let me switch to Nightwing. Because Nightwing has some really cool crowd control stuff that I used to leverage. If I can remember my button maps. No, sir. Jump over. Yeah, I'm not going to get the 75k that I need. Except maybe a, a takedown can spare me a few more seconds. So close. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to take what we get. 62, 63,000. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad. Oh, my gosh. Look at one of my friends on here. 266,000 was what they got from this mode. Man, what a grinder you are, Charlie Hustle. You really are a hustler, aren't you? All right. Let's go to the PC version, and then we're going to run um, on the frame rate, and then we're going we're gonna to go back and talk about, you know, uh, graphic settings and all that stuff. I mean... Already this game, after it came out, the game had a bit very a little history. It had a sordid launch on PC because this was a PC port. A lot of Warner Brothers games have not really had the best of PC ports. Uh, they're published games anyways. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 had some issues as well, but they were more like um, updates and all that stuff. Okay, see, this is locked on 30 FPS, and I don't know why it's doing that. No, we're not going to do this. Let's go back to the... Th this is what I wanted to make sure of. Um, was that the the frame rates? They usually find that I usually find myself in a in a place where when the game starts up, it starts up at um a very reduced frame rate, and that doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really work for me because I mean, if you're playing on a PC, you ought to be able to get your frame rates as high as you possibly can. You can go all the way up to ninety, but it will lock it at sixty. I want to apply these changes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do I still have audio um, on the game? Okay. Yeah, now we're now we're talking. AR challenges, and that way you can see, you know, the difference. Just, um, you know, if they would do the upgrade for console, I believe that it would run at 60 frames per second on a PlayStation 5 or in an Xbox Series X. All right, here we are at the 60 frames. I'm, I'm betting you already will see the difference the moment the game starts. I mean, you can already tell the performance is just, you know, it's just much different. And I believe that if they were to maybe do an update, they can get the game to actually run at a very good FPS. Something that, you know, will really make players happy. But, you know, I don't know if putting resources towards something like that is going to be difficult or challenging in their case because this game was made... Uh, you know, a long time ago, the engine that the game was made on, you know, is also an engine that <laughs> some some studios still actually use Unreal Engine 3. It's not necessarily like exclusive where, or it's not like it's too old or it's out of date or something. No, I mean, you know, it's a it's a good engine. I mean, look at the game that it produced here. You know, the artists here had to be very smart, though, in how they, you know, how they leverage the art style and all of that. So... Look at this. Hey buddy. This is gonna hurt. Huh. Bam. Let's see if I can get that uh, high score. I think it's 75k, but we're right now. <laughs> this is insane. That guy went ahead and got me. Take somebody down, extend that clock. I wonder if Robin can pick up. Um... B 
beat on everybody. Oh, we're gonna make it to a hundred. Oh, 100 combo. Bam. Boom. Bam. Bam. I'm having too much fun. You come here. <laughs> you come here. Okay, one, I think once you reach a certain point, it's no longer difficult for you to actually achieve a high um, score. But um, that's pretty much the... That's pretty much the difference when it comes to the gameplay, when it comes to the, the visuals and all of that stuff. It's really, really cool to see this game perform at, you know, its its best performance. And in the story currently, I think right now, if I go into the world uh, on my main game, I have a snow based, um, you know, system going on. I think I already beat Mr. Freeze or something. Let me open the PlayStation 4 version here. Um, which is also good looking. They've they've worked on the lighting, um, but you know, I think it's one of those things where, <laughs> you know, the, you can work on the lighting and improve the visuals, and that's also a very good thing as well. If you have a good re resolution, you also benefit from that. And I'm a ten I'm a 1080 guy, so I don't have any resolution that, you know, I can I can leverage in terms of 4K or whatever the output could be. So you're kind of still stuck where you are but at the same time you know i think this is a call for you know gaming companies to say hey your console right now is able to you know max out some really good graphics and the pc one is already loaded here um in the city when you beat mr freeze it goes to a snow-based uh, system so here let's fight these guys here are they gonna run away did they run away or did i hit, hit a bunch of them Bam, look at the city fighting. The snow is kind of rendered in a in an interesting way. I don't really know about um, weather effects, honestly. That's something that I would have to kind of learn about. Uh, but when you're fighting, it seems like the snow kind of slows down a little bit for you to be able to, you know. Hey, guys, I'm over here. I'm over here. See, Batman's do a, he's going to do a Batmobile assist to take down. It's one of the coolest things that you can see um, when the when the when the Batmobile actually fights with you. It's so cool. Boom! Bah. Nah, bro. Look at that counter. All right, I'm gonna get in a Batmobile and then I'm gonna fire up the PlayStation version so that we can see some open world roaming and all that good stuff. So the 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 PS5 version is actually looking pretty decent, man. I am not going to even complain as to how much I think it looks very good. I think they've done a very good job. Um, hi, boys. I guess I should go and fight, huh? Come on, let's go fight. Don't be don't be a, don't don't be, don't run away. There are a bunch of bad guys on the streets for you to fight. Hey, guys, I'm here. I'm here. Batmobile assist take takedown. Pam. 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 Kapow. Kapow. This is the fun part of this game. They really nailed down what it means to bring a superhero to a game. And these guys that keep standing in front of the Batmobile, you're just going to keep getting those stun rounds, man. Those cannon stun rounds or whatever it is that this Batmobile uses. Kapam, kapow, pow, wobam, wobam, bam, bam, and splam. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video here. Um, like I said, let me know if you have any questions. There are other games I also wanna you know test out as well. Um, there are other titles that some people might be curious. If I have them on both. I will be happy. Um, I'll be happy to show both of them to you guys. I'll be happy to do some runs. I wish we had just easy benchmarks on the PlayStation 5 version, honestly, where you could just hit benchmark. 
and it would just basically help you benchmark the you know the game and you can see what the frame rates run with different settings um i think some people have the ability to be able to do that digital foundry they're ahead of the curve with all this stuff i'm just a gamer guy just trying to answer questions for you know other gamers as well i'm sure they're gamer guys too not saying anything you know not saying that they're not but you know this is just the approach that i'm able to take to just give you a visual just you know from what it is you can see all right i'll talk to you all soon in another video thank you very much peace out